Nine people were killed in northern Ecuador on the 11th of April in an indiscriminate shootout that's now been described as a territorial fight between narco-criminal gangs. Ecuador's interior minister, Juan Zapata, has said that the attack was due to a payment of protection money to a rival gang. The very next day, six inmates were found hanging at the notorious Guayaquil prison. Both Guayaquil and Esmeraldas have witnessed a recent surge in violence. A state of emergency had been declared on the 3rd of March by President Guillermo Lasso to crack down on the criminal gangs. But despite this, criminal gangs have managed to carry out their killings with almost complete impunity. So why is the government failing to crack down on the narco-criminal gangs? Our next report gets you the details. A small port in the Esmeraldas province of Ecuador woke up to a violent attack on Tuesday morning. An estimated 30 heavily armed attackers arrived on boats and taxis and suddenly opened fire. According to the police, at least 180 rounds were fired during the attack. Anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 people, predominantly fishermen, were present in the port when the gunmen went on the rampage. But why were fishermen targeted in this brutal and indiscriminate manner? According to the police, the fishermen came under attack for preferring the security of one criminal organization and were targeted by members of another criminal gang. A breakthrough is expected soon with the arrest of one of the attackers. One of the criminals who participated yesterday in the attack at the port of Esmeraldas has been captured in Kininde. He is alias Coco, who is currently under investigation and will surely provide information. Armed forces commandos are arriving to intensify work in the province of Esmeraldas. The next day, six inmates were found hanging in their cells in the violence-plagued Guayaquil Penitentiary Complex. Guayaquil Prison Complex has been the site of some of the worst jail massacres in recent history of Ecuador. The hanged inmates were found in Pavilion No. 5 of the Gaya's One Prison, home to some 6,800 inmates. The notorious pavilion is reported to be controlled by a gang known as Las Aguilas, or the Eagles. Panic-stricken relatives gathered outside the complex waiting for news about their loved ones. I wake up and get the news that there are six dead in Ward 5. And my brother is in Pavilion 5. And we want to know if he is on the list of these six dead people. Prisons have transformed into battle zones between rival gangs in Ecuador. Gangs often control the lucrative narcotics trade from within the confines of prison walls. Since February 2021, more than 400 inmates have been killed in eight prison massacres. The murder rate in Ecuador has almost doubled from 14 per 100,000 citizens in 2021 to 25 last year. President Guillermo Lasso has cracked the whip on these murderous gangs. But these intermittent gang violence episodes keep chipping away at his strongman image.